few weeks ago, I shot a fashion editorial and I thought, you know, what a better opportunity for me to, to use my 4x5 camera than this one. And the reason was because I just recently picked up this book. It is, it's a book about uh, Richard Avedon and it was uh, published by, by the first assistant of Richard Avedon. And there was one photo that caught my attention um, that they were shooting the whole, I don't know if it was an editorial or if it was uh, a campaign, but they were shooting with, with an 8x10 camera and they have all these holders uh, right there. So I was like, let me, let me take this challenge and let me shoot this editorial. I mean, I shot digitally because I need to be sure that uh, I was capturing all the images. But at the end of each look, I was doing a couple of plates. For this fashion editorial, we had two models, uh, Defani and Ali. They were amazing, and with the support of this amazing uh, team, we had the whole shoot. Uh, I think it went really well. experimentation and see how everything came out on the 4x5 and compare with the digital. Obviously on the film uh, I was using expired film so the colors are not very accurate. So I mean regardless I had the experience, it was good for me and now uh, if I get the, the right uh, film I think we can shoot a whole editorial with 4x5. The purpose, I mean, it's just, it just, I don't know, there's something different about shooting with large format, like the process, just you're more focused on like the details before shooting. So I really, really like the experience and here are the photos.
that's it for today. Uh, I hope you guys like the video. I just wanted to share a little bit uh, what goes behind the scenes on a shoot like this. And the photos are already published in two magazines. Uh, there's one Rebel Magazine and Shuba Magazine. Uh, I'm gonna put the links uh, down below so you can take a look at all the images. Okay, thank you guys, uh, until the next one. Thank you.